I thought I'd do a video today on how to plant potatoes. <clears throat> it is, what, March 24th today? March 25th? I don't even know. Let's, let me check my phone. March 24th. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be 73 today. So I'm out here planting. Uh, I got the bed tilled up yesterday. Uh, I am on a five year till and then we're going to a no-till and that's just so I can kind of get rid of the weed seeds the best I can. I lay down plastic which I've put in videos before uh, to help suppress the weeds but of course you're still going to get some. Uh, so hopefully in one more year I'll be tilling and then I'll stop tilling because I don't want to destroy the uh, the soil growth. Uh, but we do put stuff back in which I have shown in other videos too. I always put in compost and uh, we try to you know amend our soil the best we can. <clears throat> uh, so I tilled this up. Um, I put agricultural lime in. Uh, I did that two years ago and had better luck with potatoes and that was something I heard from a, an old farmer said that he uh, used to put that in the soil and it gave him better results with potatoes so I did it two years ago and I had really good results and I didn't do it last year and uh, I had about half the results of what I did the previous year. Um, so you, you know I always tell people like experiment. If somebody tells you you know, one thing, we'll try it, and then try it without, or uh, try something else, you know, so for me, I'm trying it again this year, so if it works this year, then I'll know that it's, uh, you know, it's, it's true, uh, at least for my soil, um, so you can see here, I've got these laid out, and we do square foot gardening, um, and bio-intensive gardening, and so for potatoes, it's two per square foot, so I always use these little sticks, that are each 12 inches long and I mark out a, a square and I just do that and it is, it's tedious but um, for potatoes it's, I find it easy and it's relaxing to me anyway so uh, two holes per square two potatoes I use this tool over here I do not know what the name of it is so forgive me for that um, they're real cheap you can see there's a tag on it, Walmart 267. I actually got this at a grad sale. I think my wife actually got it for me at a grad sale. But you just push it in and it pulls up. Uh, I can show you here. <clears throat> so this is how I do it. So I'll mark it out. There's my square. And then I do it opposite of that one. So it comes down here. So there's like this pattern here. This just gets pushed in and this goes 10 inches is how deep this is all the way and then pull it out and it captures the dirt inside and I just use it to put the dirt on the, on the hole and then I've got those and I'll do the next one and just keep going on down the line uh, potatoes we're using red norlands which is the fourth year I planted these I believe and they're in a box I cut them up yesterday and basically you just want to leave at least one eye on them and then I leave them sit for a day so I did these yesterday morning and let them sit for 24 hours basically just to dry up and um, get rid of some of that moisture so some of these have really long roots and when you plant them you want to plant them down so that these stick up this is what you're your potato plants gonna grow off of is, is these um, unlike no oh, say uh, I don't know like a, asparagus or if you're planting a fruit tree where you plant this down like it's the roots you plant them opposite for potatoes these are gonna grow up and out of the soil and these are also what your potatoes will grow off of so these will grow in the soil and each one of these little um, roots here will grow out and potatoes will grow off of them and if you keep mounding them up so once these come out of the ground you can then mound up more dirt and it'll grow up more and you mound up more dirt and you keep doing that and uh, I'm sure you, if you look down like Pinterest you can see where they do like the um, potato buckets and uh, potato towers you just keep building on building on you get tons of potatoes I do that sometimes um, if I just want them to like stay upright because sometimes the, the stalks will fall over because they get too heavy um, but I don't typically do that I have grown them in a bag before and that worked out pretty well it's just staying on top of everything and for me with everything uh, I grow it's 
it can be difficult for me to stay on top of stuff. Um, but this is how I plant potatoes. We've had really good luck doing it this way. Like I said, this is the fourth year planting them this way. Um, real super easy to grow. Uh, keep them watered. You don't have to be like oversaturated and you don't have to really stay on top of it. I mean, honestly for us, I think I've watered potatoes maybe twice in 40 years because it rains often enough that it stays um, relatively moist. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, honestly, it's, it's super easy to grow potatoes. Well, really, like I said, just leaving like one eye. These This has two, but as long as you kind of leave one on there and, and uh, you can do this with grocery store potatoes uh, I know there's lots of debates on you know oh you should grow seed or buy seed potato which is what these are these are um, six dollars for a five pound bag at tractor supply company same ones I've been growing every year they're not GMO they're really good potatoes and uh, like these are red Norlands <clears throat> um, but I've done it with grocery store potatoes I'm thinking an eye on them uh, the thing with grocery store potatoes is that that people talk about and you have to be uh, careful with is a lot of those are sprayed with a chemical that's supposed to keep them quote unquote from um, sprouting so you can't grow them at home but a lot of them do but if you're getting them from like a, a farmer's market or you know they're organic potatoes or they're good potatoes then you know just stick it in the ground make sure it's got an eye or two on it cut it um, there's no real specifics to like cutting potatoes you can throw them in a hole if you want but you'll get more potato if you cut them up so um, you know like this big one I could cut down the middle but there's so many roots there I don't really want to um, disturb it so it's actually breaking. I don't want to disturb those roots so I didn't cut it down the half <clears throat> down that half but I did cut it in half so that I got two plantings out of it so yeah one of the easiest plants to grow uh, in my opinion, you have to make sure you do have loose soil, so that's yeah, another reason why I, I till where the potatoes are, because um, I want that deep loose soil so the potatoes can spread out and, and grow because they are uh, tubers, so they, as long as they have room to grow and spread out, they will. Even planting this close, um, when I dig them up, a lot of them will be towards the surface, but there will also be some down below, um, so I, I do get quite a bit of potatoes. Uh, out of this growing this way so I just thought I'd make a short video on how I plant potatoes I hope this was helpful to some of people and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave them below thanks and have a great day